Hi, my name is Jason Kane. I'm a full stack developer working in South Korea. Now that you know what HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are, let me show you how each of them works. I'm going to write out some codes using Integrated Development Environment or a coding program called Visual Studio Code. You just got to Google Visual Studio Code, download the package, and install it. After installing Visual Studio Code, it's helpful for you to install the Live Server extension. Extensions are some features that allows you to write your code easier. Live Server updates your browser every time you write your new code that you save, so you don't have to refresh your browser every time you write a new code. Now you gotta create the files. You gotta create index.html, styles.css, and app.js. Just like the name says, index.html is for HTML, styles.css for CSS, and app.js for JavaScript. First, let's start with HTML. The nice thing about Visual Studio Code is that they have a built-in template for HTML. So you don't have to remember every single line every time you write your code. And then you gotta type HTML and hit tap. And you see this comes in right here. And I bet no one has it memorized. And let's open this up using Live Server. And you probably see the document right here. And this is called a title, which you can change in your HTML. And you see that it's updated right here. And you see how this is empty right here, and then I can add a header like we did in the HTML video so you can see something in your stream. See, now you have a header. But now you think this header is kind of boring, so let's add some styles to it. And this is where CSS comes in. You gotta create the styles.css file and change the color of this header to orange. But you see the color has not been changed. And this is because you gotta import your styles in your HTML file. Now the color has been changed. So I'm gonna make this appear very slowly when you load your browser and disappear when you click on it. And this is where JavaScript comes in. So first let's create a JavaScript file. And just like what you did with styles, you gotta import this in your HTML. First, get the header. Then I'm gonna make this look like it's clickable. And then when it's loaded, it's gonna start appearing very slowly. So I'm gonna hide this first. And then when it's loaded, it's gonna appear. You see that how this thing appears very slowly. And then when you click on it, it's gonna disappear. And there you go. When you load it, it appears. When you click on it, it disappears. Now you know how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work together to make a web page. And you can add some interactions to your web page using JavaScript, which I'm gonna talk about later. And as always, if you wanna learn something specific, please leave them in the comments below so I can answer your questions. Thank you and stay tuned.